The private sector organization of Jamaica is increasing the pressure on local politicians to find solutions to the crime problem plaguing the country. On Sunday, the PSOJ's leadership demanded the PNP and the JLP unite on the issue to help stop the bloodletting. We have more in this report from Cody and Barrett. President of the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, Keith Duncan, said trust had broken down between the two main political parties on measures to fight crime. Mr. Duncan cited the dispute over the use of states of public emergency as example of the divide between the parties on the issue of crime. He warned that the country could face a crisis and therefore urged the government and opposition to meet to discuss crime fighting. These SOEs were supposed to be uh, upgraded into the, what we call the Enhanced Security Measures Act. And uh, this is where we think the government of Jamaica and the opposition really need to sit down and work that through because this is what will deal with the, the short-term containment of crime. And uh, this has been outstanding for some time. And we believe that if there is a meeting of the mind, that there can be alignment around these short-term crime containment strategies. Mr. Duncan also warned that Jamaicans are looking on, hoping for a positive outcome, and they will judge the politicians on the issue. Last week, the PSOJ launched Project STAR to fund social projects in the most volatile communities in Jamaica. A total of 20 communities will benefit. Downtown Kingston, Savannah Lamar in Westmoreland, and Maypen in Clarendon will be the first areas to benefit from the multi-million dollar initiative. They, it would look at the infrastructure of the community they are they, in terms of the, the the housing in terms of the street light in terms of internet av availability but the program is driven by is evidence based data driven and it's driven by um, the data that we use to determine which communities are crime data that is murder shootings that have been reported into the police and secondly violence related um, injuries that really are reported only to the hospitals because this is where you see the, um, where you will see that it's almost like a leading indicator of violence to come. Korean Barrett for TVJ News.